Hello, we're looking at a short segment of the esophagus here. This is the mucosal surface and we can actually appreciate these longitudinal folds of the mucosa. When I turn this around, this is the adventitia. The main pathology is seen in the mucosa and it is evidenced by these uh, pale yellowish irregular plaques or pseudomembranes on the surface of the mucosa. This is a classical appearance of esophageal candidiasis. Let's take a look at the microscopic appearance. This is a section taken from the mucosa and just to orientate you, here is the exudates over the mucosa. This corresponds to the pale yellowish pseudomembranes that we saw. And over here you have some ulcerated mucosa and there are some residual stratified squamous epithelium here. What we are looking at uh, is a PAS stain, PAS, or per iodic acid shift, and this stain highlights fungal elements very well. So here we can actually make out thin fungal hyphae and some small yeast forms as well. This is the appearance of candidal infection. And if we only see yeast forms, then we can't say for sure that it is an infection. However, if we do see the hyphal forms, then this indicates infection. And you can see the mucosa is ulcerated and there is some associated acute inflammation with fibrin, so hence fibrinopyrulent exudates. And the residual mucosa shows some reactive changes. So in summary, we are looking at the esophagus where there are some irregular pale yellowish pseudomembranes or plaques on the mucosal surface and this is esophageal candidiasis. This condition may occur in immunocompromised patients uh, as well as even immunocompetent patients who are on antibiotics.